I'm out. Leaves you too. I, uh, raise you. Oh, yeah. I see you. And raise you. Sure about that. Mm -hmm. I call. Kings and queens. That's close. Three jacks. Hmm. <laughs> Read them and weep. I meant three kings over two queens. Excuse me. Turn my eye. You know, I do give lessons. Mm -hmm. Annie up. Your deal. Whatever happened to that big wig you told me about? General Robert Rox Ruxton? Rox? Yeah. Well, he was coming in today with his son. Must have missed their flight. Bad weather. Hey, Gracie. Guai <laughs> Lei, you doing? I woke up. Can I play? Gracie? Come here. No cheating. But I need two cards. Ah, ah, ah. Hey. Can I have two cards? Three, please. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. What? I hit on my poker face. <laughs> What'd you just... Gotta hurt. Sometimes I just can't read the word closed. Whose deal? Peter, this is... General Robert Ruxton. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh. <clears throat> Peter Scarborough. And yeah, we talked on the phone. Yeah. Sophie Becker, I work at Horizon with Peter. Miss Becker. Sheriff Swan. Call me Curtis. Curtis? And who is this little lady? Gracie. Gracie? So, well, where's your son, General? He's collecting his thoughts. He'll be right in. So, I hear this school is a good one. We'd like to think so. Teenagers. The seven year curse that has all parents searching for a cure. <laughs> my son David hey David I, I want you all to know that I hope this works out because I want to learn from you I do I really do How was your first night here? Morning. We're almost ready. The cliffhangers are rounding up. That'll be David's group. The general would like to stay for a few days to uh, assess our program. I hear you run a good operation. It's just I've managed to carve out a few days from my schedule, and here I am. So David will just observe then, too? No. I want him in the mix. General, we have found that parents present on campus during orientation leads to their children acting out. Let me be honest with you. 
I've run out of options. I footed the bill for David at cadet school, prep school. One summer, he even went to a fat farm. We got a handle on the weight problem, but up here, David's still misfiring. He's got some attention deficit, whatever. Disorder, ADD. Right, but I say he's not alert because he's got nothing to keep him on task. And I want my son alive to the world. Just because he's a quitter doesn't mean I'm going to quit on him. First, we got to turn this around. Frankly, I think he's just afraid of failure. See if the uh, cliffhangers are ready. Send one of them to give the general a tour. I'm here for him. Whether he likes it or not. He's a real piece of work, isn't he? We don't allow that here. Let's group. Um, I should warn you, I don't group well. Thanks for the warning. This is us. Augie and Juliet are on restriction. Ezra's in the infirmary. But we have gathered together to embrace a new day. Cliffhangers, this is David. Scott, why don't you uh, show David around campus? Cat, I want you to do the same for his father. He's in Peter's office. What, we're not guide worthy? You two can go to art. This is the classroom. That's Juliet. She's on silent restriction. Punishment consequences. No talking. She can only read and write her journal. That's it. Must be love stuff, huh? So just what did you do, bad girl? Huh? Come on. Just talk. Just to know. Let's go. Talk. Hands off. I am not in to being touched. Well, with you, I might make an exception. Sorry. You're welcome. What's this for? You came to conclusion about running. You're Ann. And by running, you dug yourself into a hole. I want you to continue digging that hole until you come to a new and improved conclusion. And uh, what happens if I don't find this new and improved conclusion? China's that way. The dorms are up here, um, sports fields over there, and you saw the lake where we kayak and canoe. Regular summer camp. Not exactly. No. How would you describe it? A school where everything's a lesson. Oh. And what lessons have you learned? That I am not a problem to be fixed, but a work in progress. Ah. What did he do, run off with the babe? <gasps> ah. Bingo. So, what would she see in a barrio boy like you anyway? with you man you want somebody to mess you up you can't mess with a mess man and 
looks like redundant. All done? Thanks, Catherine. Well, any questions? What's your success rate? Well, it's hard to measure success, sir. You have no statistics? Plenty. But you asked me about success. Yeah. The Army motto is, this we shall defend. What is it you defend up here? I guess we defend the simple notion that inside here is a promise of a tree. Inside every one of them is a promise of a human being. They have the right to realize that promise. My little guide was preaching the same gospel. No offense, but I've gone the touchy-feely route with David. The Harmony Haven. Their motto was, every child is just a song out of tune. Well, David stayed out of tune. You want a promise of success? I can't give that. You want a promise that will give your son guidance and support? That I can not promise, sir. Guidance? Support. That won't cut it. My son is a true child of scorn. It's a get well card for Ezra. I'm sure I'll just bounce right out of his sick bed. Nice. Nicer. I'm sorry. You're not my species. <sighs> Oh, are you two, uh... Ah, oh, should I put this, uh, coupled up? How's the tour going, Scott? Have you shown him Dead Men's Jump, or should I? Yeah, so you are. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty! Come on now, this isn't the red carpet tour, Scotty. This is you playing show-off for your fellow inmates. Annoying little. We call it the Rebel Yell. It's sort of a group primal scream. Sometimes they just need to let off steam. All right, feel better? For tonight's group, an oldie buddy goodie. We're gonna pass the staff. Keep it short and to the point. One line. When? When you mocked us, you only made yourself small. Uh, when you don't look at me, you make me feel invisible. When, uh, you pulled him away, you pulled me closer. When I listen to my heart, I hear a new me. When I so much as see you, I want to put you down and out. When I hear all this, I just, I don't know. Say it, David. Come on. I just get all tingly inside. And I just, I want to go to each and every one of you and give you a great big hug a bug. I think I'll start with my dad. David. General! General! This is not for us. You know that for sure? No, he doesn't. He just thinks he does. You want to stay here? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, maybe I do. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow. David's going to be spending the night with you guys right over here. I expect you to uh, show him what's what, help him adjust. Good night, gentlemen. So what is what, bros? 
How do we operate within our current restrictive structure? You know, you're too whack to even bother with. So, who gets to tuck me in? Maybe your dad'll come back and do it. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Sleep on it. He's nothing to me, man. I'm nothing to him. Let's just issue the orders, General, to just see if I come to attention. And you guys, you guys are gonna see what I can do. Ooh, we're shaking with fear. muscle definition. Please tell me you're not flirting. No, I was more like admiring. But now that you mentioned it, considering we're both out of uniform... And one of us is out of line. If I said something to offend you, I apologize. Boys will be boys. But just so you know, I promoted more junior female officers than any other general in Army history. Just so you know, you're not a boy anymore. Gotta run. He does weird like he invented the word. Could be a chemical imbalance. Could be he's just weird. showed some fire but if you're gonna fight fight to win nothing instills fear more than being ferocious you need to get cleaned up but first you need to clean up where you get cleaned up go why can't we just go now go he trashed our bathroom and he talks nothing but trash. His actions go begging for a response, Scott. And by you giving him that response, you do exactly what he wants. Aggravation is his addiction. It makes him feel in control, which makes you his enabler. So what do you want me to do, huh? I want you to behave like the leader of the cliffhangers you've become. This guy follows no lead. None. The lesson can only be heard if the listener is willing to listen. All right. Buddy hike back. You and him. Oh, man. What's your mom like? Okay. What is she? 
she used to homeschool me. You know, they said I got ADD. Guess I just don't add up, do I? Well, how are you doing with her as your teacher? Fine. Doesn't matter. You put a stop to him. Do you miss her? She's a mom. Meaning you do miss her. I'm not a mama's boy. Didn't say you were. Well, then what are you saying? That maybe, or just maybe, you, like me, sometimes need someone to talk to. To lean on. It's called the buddy hike back. They drop two kids off in the woods, and they gotta find their own way back. Uh, use a compass, find food, spend a night outside. And they're tied together by a piece of twine. Every time it breaks, they have to retire. That sounds good. A real survival trek might be just what he needs. But don't put up with this horseplay. Yeah, I know. Sophie's gonna shout him for safety. I'm gonna do transport in ten minutes. I'll ride along. Uh, that won't be necessary. Oh, for me it is. Ten minutes. All right, let's get you two twined up. There you go. I'll do the honors. What if uh, we don't find any food? You forge until you do. All right, but if we don't? No cannibalism, if that's what you mean. You can do this, David. I know you can. And can I go home? All right, guys, let's get going. But remember, after this, you're on your own. Good luck. Okay, this way, guys. Smooth, man. Real smooth. Oh, you can cry about it, you can tie it. all the time. Radio, cell phone. We got a broken radio. Anybody else know about your shortcut? Can we hook back up with the others? No, they're a long way away from us and a totally different route. It looks like we're also going to take a long buddy hike back. This place is nothing short of majestic. Hooked you, huh? Yep. What'd you do before this? Wall Street. Really? You gave up the pursuit of filthy lucre for the missionary life in the mountains? Best decision of my life. Your dad must be very proud of you. Yeah, he's in tears. So tell me about you and David. David was the son I never thought I'd have. His mother was my second wife. She couldn't stand the lifestyle. She wanted her hometown to remain her hometown, not some ever-changing army base. So she went hometown bound about 10 years ago. I tried to help out with David, but she's so overprotective. Look where it got him. And where's that? Listen. I've looked inside the eyes of thousands of young men. I can see what's inside them. Well, what do you see when you look at David? Failure. Wait a minute. What? We may have a problem here. What is it? Grizzly back scratched here. Claude, wait there. 
Because he's a big one. Well, I've never been afraid of anything in the woods in my life. And I'm not going to start now. Well, they look at them. You want to risk it? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you like that, wouldn't you? Get me sick. You want to eat it? Eat it! What's the matter, Scott? You saying you're not hungry? Huh? I'm not hungry, Scott. Great! Well, tie us back up, Davey. <laughs> hey, nice job on the grunge look. <laughs> I'm really short on the ha ha's right now, okay? If you find any grubs, I'd like them. Grubs? Insect larvae. I feed them to Harry House and my pet lizard in the woods. Hey, listen, you get a message to Juliet? I'll get you and Harry all the grubs you can eat. Mmm, sorry. Unless they're mine, I avoid romantic entanglements. <laughs> no. Come on. Come on, I gotta tell her things. I gotta make sure she knows where I'm at, you know? About her. About us. You know, we went through some things, you know. Now, I gotta make sure it sticks together. Tonight, in our dorms. It's be cool. You know, I could kiss you. Not the way you smell. You're not going to give us no help, huh? Nope. Awesome. All right, well, uh, what if we uh, decide to push on without you? I thought you were supposed to shadow us. I'd catch up once I'd eaten. Mm. Is that supposed to be funny or something? Well, I think she likes that, too. Okay. Advice, in the form of a question. Why have I gotten my fire going now? Hint, the sun is going down. Why, uh, I said we find some food first. Yeah. So where do we find food? And where we can Due west is that way, which means so is the school, so that mountain, up and over. No. No. We stick to the ravine. You know how many commands I've led? Deserts, jungles, and mountains? Look, there's definitely a grizzly bear in this area. If you want to be headed uphill with him on your scent, you go right ahead, General. There she is. There she is. There she is. Ready? Go. Go. It's cool. Oh, jeez. Okay. No, no fishes for us. No. I'm trying to go. Well, I say we uh, start that fire. Yeah. I hope you know how to work a bow drill. Oh, yeah. It's a bow drill. a bow drill. Never could get one of those things to work. Hey. Hey. I blow. Oh. 
sticks here. Let's put some sticks on. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> ah, still got no food. Oh, yeah, to bring that up, didn't you? Oh, nice fire. Okay. Kinnikinnik. Waxy, mostly seed, but edible and plentiful. You just have to look. They close? Yeah. They use the same path for years, actually putting their paws in the same tracks. These are fresh. Great. You're driving, and now your ravine have us tromping down a kill trail without a weapon. Even Boy Scouts come better prepared. You know, General, when I listen to you, I hear my father. His rush to judgment, his blame to shame, and I bet you that's what David hears. Tell me about your father. Yo, let's just save our energy, No, right? let's not. Tell me. Did you ever cause him pain? Yeah. Did you ever defame what was good in him by embracing what's bad in yourself? Or did you fail to realize that the measure of who your father was is still being measured in you? And how do you measure up? <laughs> Make some noise. I no one mean business. Start that way. Okay. When I distract him, you run. Everybody out but Juliet. Why? Because I have a lovesick puppy named Augie outside waiting to talk to her. I'm not going to break the rules. Are you forgetting about your recent hankerings for Hank? The rules you broke? I don't know if I want to see him. You own that much. Come on. Five minutes. Time frames work well with the lovelorn. Otherwise, they start to grovel. on the clock. Thanks. Hey. Hey. I missed you. Listen, um, I think there's something happening. 
between us, you know, something that maybe is not so good. Come on, Jules, you, you gotta give me more than what you're giving me here. Being with you, it made me stronger. I like that feeling in me. All I can say is, I need time to let it grow. Yeah, that's cool. You know I'm here for you, Jules. You know that, right? Yeah. That means so much to me. I want to thank you for coming back for me. I had to. We need the tuition. No, I'm serious. It says a lot about a man. Thank you. So tell me, how'd you get the nickname Rocks? It's short for rock and roll. Really? Standard military policy is for the M16 rifle to be left in the semi-automatic firing position. In Vietnam, I chose to ignore that policy. My boys were on full automatic rock and roll. The enemy was elusive, and he was terrifying. When I took my boys on patrol in the jungle, we were target practice. When we encountered enemy fire, we returned maximum firepower to their position. In World War II, the average GI was 26 years old. In Vietnam, he was 18. Sometimes rock and roll was the only thing those boys felt protected by. What do you think David feels protected by? I wish I knew. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> you think he'd give me an honest answer? Can't hurt to ask. Oh, you've seen him in action. David's always been a rebel, digging his heels in, baiting people. David is afraid of failure. Yeah. And that fear, that fear fills him full of rage. Sometimes feeling safe is the only chance a kid's got. One of the things I like up here, them. Never saw stars like that back home. Probably never loved. You see those right up there? Those are the Pleiades. And uh, those three in a row over there, that's the Orion's belt. How'd you know all that? Well, my mom taught me. She knows lots of stuff. Do you ever wish that things never happened? All the time, man. Any conclusions? Yeah. Sometimes we dig our own grave. Sometimes we gotta fill it back up. And just hope for the best. Sounds like progress to me, Ock. You look like you haven't slept all night. Yeah, something kept me up. How are our two buddies doing? See for yourself. Like you two are finally in step, huh? Going to get breakfast. Yeah, something kept me up. 
How are our two buddies doing? See for yourself. Looks like you two are finally in step, huh? Going to get breakfast. Sounds good to me. How big was this bear? What'd you say it was bigger than us? I'm glad to see you survived as well. How do you do out there? In the fun. So what do you think of this place, David? Nothing. We're back to nothing. What do you want, David? Answer. Tell him what you need. He can't. He doesn't have it in him. I want to go home. I want to go back to my own house with my own room and my own mother. Now, maybe she can help me through this, but you can't. Because you don't see me. You're always too busy trying to judge me, trying to turn me into your little soldier boy. Well, that's not who I am. I'm never going to be that. You can't see that. I wish you could. Glad we're not tied up anymore. You're starting to smell a little funky. Thanks. You're welcome. Scott. Hey, don't touch me. A leader is a man who can adapt principles to circumstances. General Patton said that. It worked for his soldiers, I just hope it works for my son. Give your father a call. I think he'd appreciate it. 